Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on forming a four-part ratio. Let's read the question. A, B, C and D are integers, whole numbers, with no common factors. 2A is equal to B, C to D is 6 to 1, the ratio, and A is equal to 3 sums of D. Find the ratio of A to B to C to D. Now in previous videos on this skill, we've seen how to combine ratios together, but at the moment only this is a ratio. We've got a ratio here, this is not a ratio, it's just an equation, and this is not a ratio either. So we need to convert them to ratios first. Now, we can use common sense for this first one. We're told that B is equal to 2 times A, so B is twice as big as A. So the ratio of A to B if b is twice as big as a, it must be 1 to 2, because then b is twice as big as a, b is twice as big as a. And the quick way to do this, a kind of tricksy way if you like, is if I just put in the number 1 in front of b, because 1b is the same as b, if you've got something a equals something b, you can swap those two numbers to get the ratio. So if we swap the 1 and 2, you get 1 to 2, 1 to 2. And we can do the same with this equation here. So this here, if we just copy it, c to d, is 6 to 1. And then finally, a is 3 sevenths d. Now, in order to use this trick that I showed you here more easily, um, we don't want to have fractions here. So, how do we get rid of the fractions equation? Well, we don't like the over 7, so we can multiply both sides of the equation by 7, and that gets rid of the over 7, the divide by 7, because multiplication cancels out the division, the division by 7 there. So, a times 7 is 7a. Seven and then 3 sevenths times 7, well, the times 7 gets rid of that over 7, and you're just left with 3d. And if we use my little trick again, if you swap those numbers, that means the ratio of a to d, a to d, swap the numbers, is 3 to 7. So we've got those ratios, and now we can do the usual method for combining these three ratios together. So I'm just going to do a little table, a, b, c, d. The ratio of a to b is 1 to 2. The ratio of C to D is 6 to 1. And the ratio of A to D is 3 to 7. So 3 to 7. Now, in order to combine these into a single ratio, we have to make sure that all the numbers are consistent with each other in each column. So this one part and this three part, they need to be consistent. So if you times that 1 by 3, well, where if we times that number by in the ratio, we need to times this 2 by the same then that's going to come free, it's going to be consistent with that. And also, look, we've got the 1 and the 7 here in the D column, we need those to be the same. So if you times that 1 by 7, it would then be 7, which is consistent with that. So if I times that by 7, I can times this by 7 as well, the same number, because we have to do the same to both parts of that ratio there. So let's do all of that. We've got 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 7 is 42, and 1 times 7 is 7. So now we've managed to combine that into one big ratio. So that is the answer. The ratio A to B to C to D is that ratio there. 